All right. Uh huh. What's going on, everybody? It's Jeffrey Hart here with a free Ableton Live download for you. This is a. Uh, what is this? It's a synth built out of simplers, so only Ableton Live native devices. So if you don't have a suite, or if you don't have. Uh, you know, expensive synths like Zebra or Operator, or Massive. Yeah, they're not that expensive, but whatever. This is a synth that you can use. It's just built out of simplers, and it's actually using waves from the Operator synth. But let me just show you how it works here. So you can basically treat it like a generic subtractive synthesis guy and we have four oscillators but here's the thing that's cool about it you don't need to limit yourself to four oscillators nor do you have to use four because you can just right click and duplicate these or delete these and so you can basically have as many oscillators as you want however with these four you know it gives us quick access to what oscillator type they are and I've put three choices so the sine saw or square and you basically um, so you can hear that first oscillator changing as you move that so if we want to change this to all squares then you would do that and of course the volume and panning for each one is right there and then you can click on it and detune um, each one individually so if you want to make something you know like your standard spread cool and then let's see let's go ahead and put that back and then right click copy value to siblings and then they're all set back to zero that's a handy command if you don't know it um, more importantly here's the global envelope which is going to affect all of these oscillators. Now, um, that's cool, right? But at the same time, it's nice to have, let's have a square wave, this first guy, come in right away. Right that. And then let's have a saw, this one, come in a little bit after. So we're going to unmap. And let's turn these guys off. And... So it's not. And then, you know, we could like detune it. Or maybe let's just pan it. That way you can hear that it's coming in later. Cool. So now you can, each oscillator has its own envelope if you want to, right? Now, probably what would be more effective, super effective, is transposing it up like an octave. And that's a, if you bust open the uh, simpler there. Cool. So that's basically how that works if you want to do different ADSRs for each oscillator. Now let's take a look at... Um, a feature that's not normally included in Simpler is uh, FM synthesis. But if you have a sampler, you can use this envelope here to do um, FM synthesis, which is going to give you different types of wave types. Which is, um, so let's see what this is like. So if you don't know anything about FM synthesis, um, the short version is that the more you turn it up, the grittier and crazier it sounds. And then we can take different types. And by types, th those are different waveforms. Um, so you can see here there's noise. So different, all these different types of wave types. 
And uh, the uh, I guess the long version of FM synthesis is I guess it like multiplies the wave by the wave or blah 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 blah. I don't know, but if you turn that, you can create uh, different and unique sounds more than just the three uh, waves that are in there. Cool, and you can do that even if you just have simpler. So that's a ballin'. So um, the the way this just again this whole thing works is here's the global controls, and then you have access to some of these important top level things. But then you can always just drill down deeper, and use um, everything, right? So like let's use the uh, LFO, and just do one. Um, so that's one layer. That sounds cool. Now let's do this guy and let's pan him over to the right. Make it a, a whatever that is. And then, yeah, screw that. And uh, let's just jump that up an octave. Or maybe even down an octave. And then um, do some more craziness. And then, of course, this guy will go the other direction. Cool. And then what we'll do with him is... Okay, so obviously not a very useful sound, <laughs> but um, just goes to show you that each one is going to, you can program differently, and then let's, um, let's again, let's take this guy off. And then of course you can even do um, additional effects. Cool. Let's probably center that and then put this guy over. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, and then uh, some additional top level effects. Um, so if you just want to, you know, close everything up and then that's going to be a filter for the entire device. The resin. You know, so just a chorus slapped on the end there and the reverb. And then a delay. Now these, I mean, this this whole thing is obviously just kind of a waste of time because it's almost better to just have um, this global guy, just this rack right here, and then just do whatever effects you want because you've got all these effects here, so whatever you need for each situation. But this is just an example, and um, that's what I use to create these sounds that we hear here. Cool. So the way you're going to save this is just click and drag this into um, your library or just hit this button right here. <laughs> Simpler synth, hit enter. You should copy the files over into your library as well. Cool. Um, so now let's, uh, let's check out some of these uh, sounds. But the, uh, the, down, the link is included in the description and it's free and it's yours and I love you all. So let's check this out. Here. This one here is just um, square waves that are detuned and just a regular, it's got a little bit of filtering, nothing special. Every time with that. Uh, here's the bass. My favorite part about the bass is creating this little clicking sound which gives it a little bit more of an attack. And I did that by unmapping this envelope here and giving it its own um, envelope, right? So it's just that tick, and then the FM is way up. And you can hear that the FM is what gives it that tick. And that's just a regular thing. And then the sine wave for the meat. Cool. And this is just a 
sine wave with the delays and some filtering. Maybe, yeah, I put some FM in there. You know, I could probably pan these a little if I wanted. But I didn't because I'm crazy. Uh, here's a pad sound. And this is... I did some modulation on these. So this is affecting the filter. Um, this filter knob right here over time. So it's doing that sweep. Um, or you could do that by hand or draw an automation or whatever. But that's how you do it. So, you know, this process is just one of those things where if you know how to do it, it's pretty easy to do it. Um, and so maybe this is valuable for somebody who doesn't know how to do it. Um, but you can build all, you know, Ableton gives you all the tools to, to kind of do what you want. And as long as you know how to do it, you can just do it. You don't necessarily need to, to go and buy all the other different stuff. But, of course, it's, it's always nice to have stuff. Here's the arpeggiation. This is just with an arpeggio on the top there. And different um, envelope settings to make it very short like that. And then, let's see, I believe the LFO is what's making it pan everywhere. For the LFO for the, um, for the filter. And let's see if I did anything special. I think I did FM synthesis there. And there's a little bit of chorus. And now let's get the noise percussion. And this is better. And this this pattern is just I fed the arpeggiator MIDI into this channel, and uh, to create the actual MIDI notes. And then I did a lot of FM synthesis with just different types on these different waves because basically I was just looking to create noise and then I shortened the filter, excuse me, the envelope very much to just those ticks and so um, so yeah if you bring the sustain all the way down and then you can use the decay time to kind of decide how long that should be and so here's another cool trick, right click, show modulation. So now I could automate this, or excuse me, modulate it over time. And then double click on the title bar to show the effects. So now you can see, cool, do it like this maybe. Great, so now it's got a little bit more of a pulse. And that's just I don't know, a brief example of some percussion you could do. Um, the way that you know you would want to synthesize kicks and snares and hats. I mean, you could do it with this, um, but I just didn't do it. And you can download samples from wherever. OK, that's pretty much all I have. I hope you enjoy this. And you make beautiful, beautiful music with it. And um, even if your music's not beautiful, that's okay. Because I'm not going to say that was beautiful. Hey!